The waterfront in downtown Seattle is the city's vibrant front porch. For decades, it's been a magnet for tourists and locals, and a unique part of the city's character. For the last few years, the Seattle Department of Transportation has been overseeing replacement of the seawall, the mostly unseen structure that separates the dry land of downtown from the water of Elliott Bay. Lorelai Williams is executive for the seawall project for SDOT. We need a seawall because uh, this portion of downtown Seattle sits above the grade of the water. And we need to have a wall between where the, the mud line is, essentially, of the bay and where the elevation is of our waterfront to stabilize and hold it. And also the stability of this section helps with the stability of everything behind it. In the 1850s, when settlers began building what became modern Seattle, there was no seawall. The shoreline of Elliott Bay was much different than it is now. Gradually, tidelands were filled in and new land was created along what's now Alaskan Way. But that new land often needed shoring up with timbers and concrete so it wouldn't just wash away with the tide or the waves of Elliott Bay. By the early 20th century, Seattle had become a major metropolis. Back then, the waterfront wasn't so much a front porch as it was a loading dock, where freight was exchanged between ships and rail cars. It was a maze of tracks, roadways, and wooden piers. In the 1930s, the city commissioned a massive rebuilding of the waterfront to better serve shipping companies, railroads, and other industries that called that part of Seattle home. By the early 21st century, the old 1930 seawall had been shored up over the years, but it had nearly reached the end of its useful life. And the 2001 Nisqually quake was a reminder that the future of the waterfront and of the city was threatened. If we would have had an earthquake, it could have been a catastrophic failure where the wall fails and everything it's supporting falls into the bay. Replacing the seawall is a complex undertaking and a nearly $400 million project. Work will continue well into 2017. The new seawall represents the latest in modern engineering with an innovative approach to long-term safety and to serving all who use or who will use the waterfront for the next century or more. We're using jet grout to stabilize the soil where they inject a grout into the ground. Um, and then that stabilizes the soil underneath. And then we have structural Z panels that are the main part of the wall, and then a face panel on the wall that has some uh, texture and things that help promote sea life. And then it also helps support the light penetrating surface panels that are the sidewalk panels that you see that have the glass blocks. And it lets light in from above down below to allow for growth and creatures and fish and, and that type of passage. So we have, we have a habitat bench that essentially lies right under that and helps contribute to a good path for them to follow. And while the new seawall will incorporate all kinds of modern and innovative elements, it will also have some old familiar pieces too. Remember those bronze ship's wheels and propellers with old pennies stuck in the middle? As part of the seawall project, some of those railings and all of the bronze wheels and anchors and different uh, marine type pieces that were on them we preserved. Jody so Robinson a is a consulting engineer for SDOT. So a bunch of the railing was taken to an SDOT yard and then we actually cataloged all the pieces that were taken off of there. The bumping up of the past against the present in the seawall project could be a metaphor for what it's like to live in booming Seattle these days. But the seawall is also about what comes next, the future of the city, and especially the future of the waterfront once the viaduct is gone. So by investing in the seawall, we preserve the integrity of this waterfront area. And I would say, in addition to just being able to 
maintain all the utilities, the public access, the businesses, everything that exists along here. And the seawall is the structural piece of holding up the future waterfront. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.